Uh, I've also asked the school board to make a part of every day some kind of anti-violence, anti-gun message. Every day, every school, at every level. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. And just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. experts and law enforcement professionals. But identifying and by targeting the groups that are responsible for violence throughout the city and eventually the entire state of Connecticut. I think it's really important, the entire state of Connecticut. Project Longevity will send a powerful message to those who would harm their fellow citizens that such acts will not be tolerated, that they will be swiftly met with clear, predictable consequences. But also but also that help is available for all those who wish to break the cycle of violence and gang activity. And although, as David mentioned, Connecticut has experienced an overall decrease in violent crime rates over the last year, shootings and homicides remain all too common in cities like Bridgeport, Hartford, and right here in New Haven. In many cases, the victims, as he indicated, of these crimes are children, and they are young people. The future of these communities. And we've seen that traditional enforcement, prosecution, and incarceration strategies by themselves simply are not enough to bring about the sustainable progress that we need and that our citizens are owed. And that's why I'm here today to pledge the Justice Department's strong support and my own best efforts in advancing this and other frontline approaches for combating gang violence and ensuring the safety and the stability of our neighborhoods. By bringing federal, state, and local authorities to the table to formulate really comprehensive solutions, I'm confident that Project Longevity will enable us to bring new resources and bring fresh perspectives. The worst grade school shooting in U.S. history, at least 27 dead, 20 children, 7 adults, including the principal. And the gunman killed himself. Uh, Lieutenant Governor and I have been spoken to in, in an attempt that we might be prepared for something like this playing itself out in our state. I was interested in asking him if he could pass some kind of legislation so that the only people that had guns were military personnel and law enforcement. Every one of those hands is a reason why those weapons should not be out in the general public. Newtown Police Chief Michael Kehoe has a message for the White House. Ban assault weapons restrict those magazines that have so many bullets in them. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. 